So for our continuation of experiment 20, we are now moving on to the felling test. The felling test is also a test for aldehydes, but in particular, aliphatic aldehydes, which means that our R group here would be a long chain of carbons, and no benzene rings. Uh, what we're reacting with here is a uh, copper ion, some hydroxide solution, and tartarate. Uh, and if we are successful, we should generate a carboxylate along with a copper oxide precipitate. We are first going to add 0.5 milliliters of Fellin's reagent A to each of our test tubes, and then we will follow that up with a half a milliliter of Fellin's reagent B. These two compounds cannot be pre-mixed because they will cause a reaction uh, before we want them to. So, uh, so far in our test tubes, we have felling solution A and B, and I mix them together to create a homogeneous solution. So we have this very, very nice dark blue uh, solution in each of our test tubes. I'm now going to add uh, two to three drops of sample to each one of the test tubes, and we are testing again the same six compounds that we have in the previous tests. So we have acetone, heptanone, benzaldehyde, repentanone, 2-propanol, and acetophenone. I'm going to start adding acetone, and after we have added the appropriate amount of sample to each test tube, we're going to put these in a boiling water bath. So we have uh, boiled the samples from the felling test for 10 minutes and removed them from the heat. And I'm going to have Lee bring in the camera pretty close so that you can see the results of all the different samples. And uh, first on the left we have acetone. Acetone did not change colors and we expected that because it is a ketone. Uh, next up we have heptanel. And heptanel has a nice red rim of solid around it. I'm going to go ahead and spin it around so you can see that we have some solid precipitate that persists even towards the bottom of the test tube. So let me go ahead and show you the bottom of the test tube here. Uh, so very nice and red precipitate for heptanel. Uh, for benzaldehyde, we have some slight darkness to it, but no real precipitate that sticks around. And that's what we anticipated for benzaldehyde. Uh, our next sample is 3-pentanone, which is a ketone. And again, we got a darker color, but no red precipitate that is noticeable. Uh, next up, we have 2-propanol. Two 2-propanol two is a secondary alcohol, and we didn't expect anything to occur for this particular sample, um, although it did get a little bit darker in the reaction. And last but not least, we have acetophenone, which is a ketone. Uh, which looks like it's developing a two-layer system, but no red precipitate. So this has been the filling test, and it looks like our only sample positive is our aliphatic aldehyde heptanal.